The counterweight trebuchet was one of the most complicated and effective artillery weapons in the Middle Ages. Today we're going to create it using Lego. Between the 5th and 15th centuries in Europe, this was called the Middle Ages or the Medieval period. During this time there was a lot of fighting going on between all the different cultures and countries. One of the best ways to defend against an invading army back in the day was to build really high walls. So you will find that a lot of the castles and towns at the time were surrounded by walls. When an attacking army came to fight against a defender of a city or a town, this was called a siege. And a siege could last anywhere between days and weeks up to months. It took a really long time and basically what the attacker used to be able to do was they would surround the city and try to starve out the defender. And that is where a trebuchet comes into play. A trebuchet is a kind of catapult and what it does is it loads up rocks or other nasty things and it throws it really really long distances. This makes it really really good for knocking down city walls from a long distance away. A trebuchet has a few key features. First of all there is a long beam that is sitting on a frame. It's sort of like an unbalanced seesaw because one end is extending a lot further than the other. Second thing is a counterweight. So a counterweight trebuchet, which is what we're building today, has a big weight on one side on this beam. Third thing is there is a mechanism to reload the trebuchet or reset the shot. This means that it is a winch or some other mechanism to pull the trebuchet back down to reload after firing. So today we're going to build a model that illustrates all of these components. Got the picture? Okay, now let's go and build our prototype. So the first thing we're going to do with this model is to use the smart hub as the counterweight. That's going to form the base of the trebuchet. Next I'm going to make the swinging arm and uh, put it onto a, a frictionless kind of axle so that it can swing around freely. Now I notice that the base keeps slipping so it's a bit fragile but I'm going to put a couple of uh, rubber pieces on it to stop it from slipping on the table. Next we're going to look at using the rope to build a sling. Now we don't have enough rope to make a real sling so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loop it around the swinging arm and then I'm going to use the square plate to uh, act as the ammunition. This just makes it uh, simpler and we won't have to uh, worry too much about the detail. As you can see the square plate is uh, falling short because it's releasing too late. The solution to that is to shorten the sling. I've also added the motor and made it motorize a winch. That way we can have the robot reset the trebuchet automatically. Before firing we've got to make sure we unwind the winch otherwise it would break the model when we fire. Thanks for watching the video, we hope you enjoyed it. If you have any ideas for medieval machines that you want us to build, then please write it in the comments below. If you learned something today and you want to show us your appreciation, please visit our Patreon page in the link in the description. There you can make a pledge and get instructions to our models. Until next time, keep on creating.